Hello, guys. How you doing? Good. 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 Great, great. Before we get to the real stuff, can you please introduce yourselves? Well, I'm Yes Mia Koda, and I am one of the co-founders and our event coordinators of You and I Are Love. I am uh, Justin Hamill, and I'm also the uh, co-founder of You and I Are Love. And uh, yeah. Fun. Great. So coincidentally, Justin, uh, you share the same birthday. Yes, as uh, John Lennon. Yes, uh, October 9th, uh, 1984 is my birthday. Um, yeah, no, and uh, yeah, it's it's interesting to see how things have progressed and um, being put on this project and having the recreation of what they were doing um, back in, I think, the 1960s or like 67. Um, and it's just, uh, it's, it's kind of cool how everything's unfolding and, you know, talking off the wall and how they're allowing us to do this project and recreate, you know, something special because it's a movement. So it coincides very well together. So. Great. I hope everybody will be following your movement. I hope so, too. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How did you meet? Oh, wow. Um, well... We met surrounded by art, and um, we were we were introduced to each other about a year ago through mutual friends, and um, we both took our paths, and we met again during Art Walk in Wynwood at Jude Papaloco's gallery, and uh, from that point on, it just took off. So. Yeah, I. It was uh, it was kind of. You know, the shared expression, I guess, of art that we both have. I come from a culinary background. She comes from a fine art background. And uh, the simple fact that we met at... I was working for Jude Papaloco. Um, I was helping him with the art walk and building, volunteering, giving my time. Um, and then he offered to pay me because he saw how hard I was working and um, you know, everyone's got to eat. Um, but... You know, he taught me a lot about being patient and love and slowing down and appreciate, to take a look at the roses, you know, stop and smell the roses, that sort of approach to life. Um, and, you know, at Art Walk on one of the big nights here in Wynwood, I happened to see her and her friends. And, you know, I don't think it was an accident. You know, the fact that we met in that environment, um, the way things have progressed with us as the art and people wanting to show and us wanting to exhibit people. Um, and kind of like finding talented artists that maybe haven't shown and it's just it's been a beautiful journey meeting each other you know and sharing a lot you know a lot of common interest how would you define you and I are love is it a project a movement or energy <clears throat> well um, it's all of the above because when you put your love and your energy into a project and you share it with your community and you bring the community together, that is a power of love, a power of togetherness, which becomes a movement. And that's what we are. We are creating an independent art movement right now and a change in bringing everybody together in the art community and spreading that love through the power of art. You're doing so. a beautiful job. <laughs> Thank you. I think, hold on, I want to add something to what you were saying. I think the progression, you know, it started off as a project um, in a sense of, you know, let's, we had this idea we had, you know, and we wanted to follow through with it. And it started off one way and it just kept evolving. And then, you know, people wanted to help. People wanted to, you know, ex like to kind of join and then thus creating the movement. And then from the movement, it have all these positive people around creating this energy of love. Like when you come to our show, you ask anybody, the energy, the love, the happiness. I mean, you've been there. You've, you guys have experienced it. You've seen the energy, the people dancing, everybody celebrating people's birthdays, you know, and it's something that is really special and unique. And like it just it all leads to everything like it starts from a project, it goes to a movement and then it creates this energy and then it kind of starts over again and it just keeps snowballing and snowballing and snowballing and as people see that they want to they want to be part and everybody wants to feel special and everybody wants to be part of something special so why not be part of something that's truly special and you can see how special it is with your own two eyes 
you know so i think that's kind of my input and my take on it yeah and um we're incredibly blessed uh we feel incredibly blessed because we have so many people supporting us and um and giving us you know what they what they got to to help us you know make this happen to keep it going and like he mentioned you know we we have people helping us make our flyers and stickers and and printing things for us you know and and it's just it's giving about us advice, you know, giving us advice you know the what to do i mean this is our first this is our first time ever doing this i mean i'm not trying to come off like i know exactly what i'm doing yes. this is a complete on the job experience just something that you know i've been here for the last 2 years i came to winwood on accident I I moved away. I it's broke up. I, I, I know, I know. And now it's not. It, it, at the time, it was because I had no idea. I mean, I walked out on the street. I got here just at the last end of, uh, like, December 19th, two years ago, going on three years. And I met Cobra, the artist that did the piece on 27th and Northwest 2nd. And I met him. He didn't speak any English. And I was just, I was blown away at what was going on. I was like, oh, my God. Then I met Jude Papaloco. So, I mean, I've met these people from the get-go of being here from the very first. And it's... You know, it. These people want to help. They see the the. I had no idea about art. I I, you know, I've always had a creative way of thinking, and to be here and to have these people support and seeing the growth of you know what I've done and then meeting yes and and her development in the Miami scene as well from you know photography art living here before it was anything seeing it really from bottom up before there was anything here, you know and it's these people that have seen it that they genuinely see that we care and that we want to be better you know it's all about becoming better and being humble about what we have you know and, and that everybody is coming together and yeah. that's the most important that Absolutely. everybody comes together and we become more stronger so I wish that. you good luck and love and peace hi uh, hi Jason uh, Justin I have a question for you um I understand you have some connection with the Rise Up Gallery in Wynwood. Uh, can you tell me what that's about, what they do? Sure. sure. Um, Rise Up Gallery is somebody that I first, one of the first galleries that myself personally walked into when I moved to Wynwood. Um, I saw what David was doing. Um, I heard, read his story on the wall. You know, being coming, f coming from such a successful life. Um, in Wall Street and trading and doing all of that stuff and then having his freak accident that happened taking that all away he really minimized his life he got rid of everything he wanted to pursue his career in art he started off he was a photographer on the side mm -hmm. um, and you know I started helping volunteering with his projects at the Jackson Memorial helping other disabled people paint mm -hmm. and do all of that stuff and it just kind of evolved and wanting to help and be part and you know at the right time everything developed we had this thing with Yes, and then we helped them do a little uh, donation thing, which I think a couple of you took part of donating some pieces of art for the event. And uh, it's involved into, or evolved into a, a fiscal sponsorship, where now we're striving to become a 501c3 and, you know, to, uh, be able to be more involved in the kids and taking that next step. So he's sponsored us. So we give everything that we make, we give back at a certain percentage of our proceeds to Rise Up Gallery. Um, and I mean, I think she'll explain a little bit more on some of the other ties that we have accumulated and partnerships um, and future partnerships that we have going on within the community. Um, recently, we are partnering up with The Lab. We are having our next show for Art Basel. The Lab has given us the, this incredible opportunity to you know, bring what our our event, our project, our movement to this grand art fair, the biggest art fair in the whole wide world. Whole wide world. Yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible, you know, to have this opportunity, to be able to give this opportunity to all these local emerging artists. To you know, they, this opportunity is like unheard of, especially for for the amount that we're doing it for you know and 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 it it's it just it's a it's a true blessing to be able to to give this to our local art community and um it's going to be taking place at the lab december 7th 
on the Saturday of Art Basel week. And it's, um, we're going to have 24 artists exhibiting and some of them are going to be life painting and we're going to have live music and t-shirts and visual arts. Uh, it's going to be fun. Food, booze, <laughs> you know, big party. Don't, don't forget All to share. art and love. What? Don't forget to share about the whole thing with the lab and being able to give the, them, them like giving opportunities. Well, yeah, know? of course. That's, you know, the, the lab is giving us this opportunity, you know. They're giving us a space to do this. They're helping us, you know, they're fronting the, the financial. Uh, they're backing us financially. Financially. But it's. It, but. It, but they're you know they're they're giving us um the space to to be able to bring this to art basel and it's one of the busiest nights of art basel and they're believing in us they're believing in our exactly. project and that it takes a lot to they were given the same opportunity that they've given to us yeah and it's through the same cycle of pay it forward people that have been given an opportunity such as these two gentlemen at the lab uh wilfredo and Daniel have been given an opportunity to create this at a, at a very young age. I mean, they're, they're in their mid-20s, and they've been given a Goldman property to give a creative outlet to all the technology uh, creative minds. And they believe in those opportunities to the right people, the right people with the drive and passion to be able to, to, to follow through with their ideas, the right people, giving those ideas to the right people with a certain energy that they bring. Yeah, so the same opportunity they were given, You're giving back. we're giving they're, back. They're giving to us, and we're yes. giving back. So we expect, you know, to inspire others to do the same. And We um, don't expect, we hope. Well, we we, hope. well yeah, we, we hope. That is Not everybody has the we, same. We, do we do. And they do. And they we, do. Hope, we hope that we can inspire others to do yeah. the same. The same. And, um, you know, he always says this quote, which is, you know, it's through giving that we receive. Yes. And I it's... And it's uh, it's very true, it's very true. <laughs> when you have nothing, give. <laughs> when you have nothing, give, and keep giving. Always taught me that. The power of giving. Yeah. The power of giving. It's the best. It's the best feeling in the world. Yeah. It's to give. It mm -hmm. heals. It oh, really it's, does. It does heal. Yeah. Yes. It heals. All right. Now here we are, days away from Art Basel. How did the two of you plan to represent you and I, our love, in Wynwood? Oof. Wow. It's all you. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking away. <laughs> well, um, it, you know, our mission is to create a platform for local emerging artists to exhibit their work, you know, um, sell their work, mm -hmm. network within the art community, and, and, you know, provide this opportunity for many local artists. We go on Craigslist. We go on, on, on different mediums to to look for artists that are in our community. Handpick them. Handpick them. You know, we go through a selection process every month and and we we select anywhere from twenty five to thirty artists every month to showcase at um, at the venue that we've been doing it at, which is called PAX. And you know, it's 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 about keeping it rolling every month and being able to give that opportunity yeah. to many artists and as as we have already, we've we've you know, given this opportunity to artists that have never, ever had the chance mm -hmm. to exhibit their work yeah. and have sold work on their first night. That makes yeah. what we do completely worth it. And it's, yeah. it's incredible. You know, and we don't take a penny from them. Not one cent. We don't want to charge them to hang their work. We don't want to take commission from their artwork yeah. because that's love and work that they put into their, their pieces, you know, and, and it's not right for us to take that from them. You know, it's yeah. their creative process. It's their idea. There's ways to make and sustain yourself financially other than taking from the artist. Yeah. You know, and Wynwood is blo booming and, you know, a lot of out-of-towners and, you know, people that are out of country are coming in and they're taking the spotlight, you know, and, like, it's like, l let's look at what we have. Let's take a look at the emerging artists that are struggling, that are starving, that yes, have right. given up everything to follow through with their dreams and being able to to showcase that. I mean, like I, was, like I just said, the feeling of when somebody, when they come back to us at the end of the show, say, Justin, I sold, or yes, we sold, like if we're together, you know, guys, we just sold two pieces, three pieces. And that 
is doesn't mean anything to the money that is made nothing like that priceless. is that's priceless no, it really it really it's is and it, it's just something that drives us to do it even more because that yeah. if the first show only one artist then the second show three artists and then what about the third show during basil hopefully some artists sell during basil and then once we get back to our monthly show which is completely free we don't charge submission for that maybe five ten artists start you know buying art and then we also help create that that hype about these artists you know what I mean? We add value to their work by showing and getting these artists from random facets, whether we meet them and we're like, wow, this art is beautiful. We add value to their artwork. You know what I mean? We're helping them sell their work. We're selling their work for them in a sense where we're like, we're promoting, we're bringing people in. You yeah. guys, you have to see these people, this art that's here. Like people are putting their heart into it. And we're, you give them dream, dreams come yeah, true yeah. Yeah. Them because they never, will never have a chance yeah. to ever put Without spending up, yeah. And because uh, I know they charge so much. And some and people sacrifice 50% of their work to oh be yes. a Basel. I mean, oh I got yes. an email the other day that was, you could submit your work and you could, you know, you still have to go through the selection process, but one year, once you're selected, it's 50%. So if you're so selling a thousand, yeah, if you're selling a thousand dollar piece, you're, you're making $500. But if you submit with us, which is a likely that you'll show because it's a it's a smaller network of people, yes. and we're like kind of hand picking people, that you pay fifty five dollars, and the rest of it's yours. I mean, you have to put in the work to sell your work. Yes. You know what I mean. You have to be there to represent <clears throat> your work and and know how to sell your work and have val and you know value your work and how to approach people. But at, at the end of the day, we're just giving you the we're the platform here. Here it is. We'll do the promotion. We'll do this. We'll do this for you. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. This is what you need to do. But the energy is, it's, wow, yeah. I can't yeah. even, it's so hard to describe in words, the yeah. energy. You have to be there to you know, yeah, you it do. is. It's yeah. the energy. You guys have the role of making dreams come true. Awesome. Oh, you do, they do. <laughs> Wow, yeah. that's really beautiful. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was a beautiful perspective. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, it's humbling, you know, and it's <laughs> hearing things like that. Like you, you know, you're like, wow, you know, it kind of puts things in a, a different perspective, you know, because. And we all go through problems on our day-to-day -day lives and we think that these things are you know so big in our issues and really there's something that's greater happening mm -hmm. and it's focusing on that that makes these little issues you know rent car problems this this yeah. this this you know things that a lot of mm -hmm. people our age are going through it's like really like when you have something like this going on it's just it's like this mm -hmm. is this is what i want to do this is what yeah, i believe in more light yeah. on the positive yeah, yeah absolutely yeah, which isn't always definitely. easy. It really isn't. I mean, especially in today's society, it's hard. Yeah, so. yeah it's very money driven. It so. is. It's a lot of greed and a lot of the But there is a balance. Out. There, like I was saying, there is a balance. You know, art. There is a business to art, and you need to respect that aspect. Artists need to respect that aspect. You know, some artists don't believe in paying for space. Some artists don't mind paying for space. I mean, there's people, there's artists that I've approached, and they're like, I don't believe in paying for space. No, I think when the so, gallery is selling it, yes. But to not to live on the artist, no. you know, no. not no. To, to charge an artist yeah. before you sold the painting. I yeah. don't believe in that. Well, I mean, we just watched the movie Jackson Pollock, you know, and back in the 40s, she curated, uh, what was her name? Um, the the His lady. Wife? No, the gallery that he first Oh, Peggy at. Guggenheim. Peggy Guggenheim. She, he had like a bunch of pieces and he had to sell all of his pieces that night and then if he didn't she got to she had to keep yeah, she, she got would, to keep them all yeah that was a contract like, and it was like $2,400 worth of work you know and wow. it blows your mind like that's that how she time. built her collection over over the years that are now worth millions and millions of dollars you know so yeah. it's there's just a balance you know and there's a balance with everything it really is with everything that we go through in life and you know we just we want to represent the true artist and everybody's an artist in the sense of what they're trying to do during Basel everyone has their own perspective um, but yeah, you know, we just we want to represent them with love and give them a platform and show the community. And not to take advantage of the artists. That's well, well then in this recession, I mean, you give people hope that thought that there was no yeah, chance to of be that. able to have. That. Wonderful. With all this production and positivity, I see a very successful future for you two. Um, where do you see yourselves and you and I are love in the next five, maybe even ten years? Um. <sighs> wow. Um, five to ten years. Uh, I, I live in the now, so... I, I, <laughs> it's just well, you know, we're... We are planting our seeds here. 
locally in our community and you know and and watering them with love and putting everything that we can into them and seeing it grow but you know we have we want to expand we want to share this love with everybody and our mission is to to not only bring this into our art community our artists but also be able to to offer um, art therapy and art workshops and, and you know do like art in the park and you know give everybody you know kids in hospice uh, senior living homes go to hospitals you know partner up with them and do work with them you know and and provide art therapy my great grandfather um, did art therapy once when he was going through rehabilitation for an accident that he had and he you know I saw how much it 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 encouraged him to, you know, wake up in the morning on that hospital bed and, and go do something, you know, instead of lying down all day and, you know, and just waiting for the day they tell you to go home. So it's it's being able to, to you know, give back to everybody, not just the artists, but our entire community through the power of art. And, you know, like I said, starting here, but taking it out into the world. I say I'm gonna be kind of like I don't know. The in ten years, I want to be a hu- uh, like a housing for artists. You know what I mean? Like we build like a, a, an arsenal of artists that have started with us, that give back with us, that believe in us, that have been here from the beginning. Um, being able to take a group of us and travel to a poverty-stricken country where we can go do the art therapy. Mm-hmm. You know, being able to create. Um, a brand, a brand that's really, really about love. And it's just, it's taking the people that have been with us in the beginning, the people that have sold this, that, and the other, and just, and giving, and I don't know, just taking us all together as a community and yeah. and spreading it, you know? And whether it's having a big building where artists can come and live there for very cheap rent and all the supplies, because we have sponsorships from the relationships that we started now, they can come, whether you're a chef, whether you're a fine artist, photography, all the equipment's there. You know, like, it'd be so cool to have one of these buildings where we could create that, you know, where pe- oh, people can come, we can have our art therapy, yeah. people come here, yeah. we can take that, we can pack up and go somewhere for six months. You know, go live in the jungle, like, where <laughs> she was, you know, like, <laughs> so it's, it's, you know, it's, it's being able to travel like to that. Yeah. Just for I, yeah, 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 well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, it would be great. You know, I, I, I took a few years off and I, I traveled around. I did a lot of community work and, you know, in North America, North, North America and <laughs> Central America and South America. And, you know, I was kind of uh, the jungle princess for a little while. And um, I, I went out there and I, I spread my, my love around. I've always been... Uh, into giving back to my community in all aspects. So um, it was it was inspiring to be out there, you know, and I, and I was thinking, how can I do this with everything I know, with my art background, with everything I love to do? How can I mix everything together? And then, you know, coming together with Justin and our ideas and our drive and our passion for giving back and for art, you know, it, it it, it, it took off, you know, and it, everything's coming together and being able to, to do this 10 years from now, but at a grand scale, you know, being able to go back to these places that I visited, you know, where I helped uh, build homes and, and being able to go back and maybe uh, do art on their walls, you know, and, and bring artists and, and have them paint on the on, on murals in their villages, you know, give their villages color. And uh, that that would be great. I I would really like to see that ten years from now, or even sooner if possible. So sooner the better. <laughs> yeah. I believe that every place that you put art, it's transformed yeah. into so powerful and so and, and so much love. Because I don't. I always believed that art has the most powerful healing. Art it's all you've heals. said since I first met you is that art cha- art will change the world, you know? <laughs> it is, and I, it I is. I believe you. I'm, right, I'm right on board. And you know what? I, 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 I do believe when I see the change of the children, you know, 
the children are our future. I come out with all kinds of inventions, you know, garbage disposal. <laughs> and, and me, I come out with all kinds, and it does change so much. Thank you guys for uh, all this. This is beautiful. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peace. 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 <laughs>